What's up guys, Guillaume Zell and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Stack Manager 2020 for yet another video. Today, stage number 6 of the Giro d'Italia with Bora Hansgrohe, the first mountain stage in Grotte di Frasciassi and Ascoli Picciano, San Giacomo, San Giacomo being the final climb, Ascoli being the bonus second for the uh, intimate sprint right before the climb. It is a massive day. We haven't had the, the greatest of performances, we'll say with Emmanuel Bourman um, two days ago. And today is the chance to redeem ourselves because if we don't, our chances in the GC and in this Giro as a whole are going to be very scarce. And I don't like having very scarce chances. I like to have decent odds. And Bourman right now, definitely not a favorite from the bookmakers. It's a plus one for Bourman. It's a plus one for Grosjarna as well. It's a minus two for Matteo Favreau. That's a bit more of an L, we'll say. Um, but we'll have to do well with Bourman today to try and recover on the minute and nine seconds we had lost on the previous stage. Uh, on the previous stages, should I say. Already have uh, a few attacks here. Grosjarna, mate. I really need you to like m m get a move on and get in the breakaway. All right, we really struggled to make the breakaway uh, because as soon as I had attacked, uh, knowing that I was in the second group of attack, I guess, or the second wave of attacks, a lot of riders in the peloton tried to follow me. And um, it's safe to say that most of the teams in the peloton weren't exactly keen on letting uh, more than 19 riders go. Um, but we'll take a look at the breakaway. We have Filippo Fiorelli, who's been in, a, in very good shape in this Giro in real life. We've got Alexi Bujar, Oscar Riesebeck, Valerio Conti, Samuel Battistella, Jos van Emden, Attilio Viviane, Nicolas Roche, Davide Villela, Lucas Wisniewski, Antoine Duchesne, Mauro Schmidt, Matteo Badiavati, Kuhn Boomen, Gustavo Carboni, uh, Giovanni Carboni, sorry, Giovanni Visconti, Harold Tejada, Geoffrey Bouchard, and finally, Felix Grosjartner. Out of energy, but still here. And the breakaway has started Paso di Gualdo. Uh, the peloton has completely forgotten about the breakaway and uh, is yet to chase them. Therefore, with 75 kilometers remaining, the gap is nearly 10 minutes, 9.57. There goes the 10 minutes barrier. Um, so that could mean that either the peloton doesn't really give a shit or that the Forza di Gualdo is going to be done at an incredible rhythm. And I feel like we're moving towards the latter, sadly. Sorry, Grosjean got, got dropped from the breakaway. Because, because Lukas Wisniewski stopped pacing. And he, he blocked Grosha. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Grosha is going to make a comeback. Decent. But I mean, I'm losing energy for literally nothing with this man. And that pisses me off. Attacks. Nicholas Roche. Valerio Conti. Here goes Geoffrey Bouchard. I'm going to stay at a, a steady rhythm. Can't afford to make too many, um, too many moves right now, if I'm, going, if I'm being honest. There goes Visconti, Geoffrey Bouchard, the former polka jersey on um, the Vuelta, is moving up. Can they catch Nicholas Roche? We'll see. I'm going to go 99 from this point onwards. Can we hold on for 500 meters? Come on, son. Come on, Felix. That might have been a bit too early. That might have been a bit too early. It's third place, nonetheless. All right. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. That's 18 straight points for Nicholas Roche. And I have been speaking for the past five minutes with my microphone off. Isn't that glorious? Uh, but Groschartner managed to get the points at the um, Forza di Presta. And I was also just admiring the landscape um, because it's, just, it's just, a, just very nice, isn't it? It literally is just very nice. Can I zoom out a bit more, potentially? Uh, but this is just staggeringly nice. There's nothing else I can say here. And look at, look at this. Look at, them, uh, look at all them flowers. Uh, Peloton, though. Still a very big peloton, 149 riders left uh, in the first group. However, uh, they're 15 minutes down. So yeah, Groschartner most likely will be uh, fighting for the Maniglia Zora uh, comes the uh, end of the, um, the San Giacomo. Crash in the peloton as the breakaway starts. San Giacomo, Domenico Pozovo is on the ground, the leader of, uh, um, of Kubica Assos. He's being weighted by Nizzolo Franchini. Camponart and Lindemann, it's a great thing for, uh, for Kubeka that there was uh, no high rhythm because they still have all of their teammates. I mean, Nizzolo is still here. 
um after all of these crimes so yeah quite uh quite funny we'll say some attacks though in the first group already here's nicholas Roche. he looks strong nicholas Roche looks to uh, be on a very very decent day here Villera, bouchard groschana conti visconti following kunbuman maybe a tad behind maybe a tad behind for uh, the dutchman all right we'll go back to uh, a rhythm at 59 to try and recover some energy here 10 riders, who did we drop? We dropped uh, Bardiani, no, we dropped Oscar Rizebeck. Uh, we did drop Fiorelli and Gustavo Carboni. Interesting, interesting. So they are solely focusing on Giovanni Visconti today in uh, the Continental team, making sure that the peloton isn't far uh, from, um, from the climb. We found out a good acceleration by Giovanni Visconti. Giovanni Visconti going for a move. Uh, well, I'm going to have to attack, innit? Going to have to attack. We'll, uh, we'll catch Villela. And go back to uh, to steady rhythm. Roche gone again. Roche and Geoffrey Bouchard. And this time I'm not sure that anyone can really follow. Uh, speaking of following, the peloton has started. San Giacomo. I'm going to increase the rhythm of Bourman and Favreau. But still try to go back on Groschart now. Uh, Bouchard and Roche seems to be gone. Bouchard and Roche seem to be gone here. Alright, we'll settle for a podium position in my opinion with, um, with Groschart now. Bit of an L, bit of an L, but my main focus is here. My main focus is the peloton. Who's the tie? That's Vincenzo, anybody? Los Qualo, gone for a move. Okay, okay. The only thing is, like, because no one paced throughout the entire day, all of the leaders uh, have, like, full energy, and also their teammates have full energy. So making gaps is going to be quite tough, in my opinion. A tie by Bernal. Bernal, Molema, George Bennett, Vlasov. All right, forget what I said about making gaps here. Yeah. They, they, they don't give a shit. Vlasov gone. Buchmann, for now, somewhat safe. Uh, 2.5k to go in the breakaway. We'll make a little move. Can I, can I go 99 for a quick second with Groscharna? Yes, I can. We've dropped Tejada, we dropped Villela, we dropped Schmidt, we dropped Batiladze, we dropped Kunbuman. Only Visconti remains. And obviously, Nicolas Schwarz who is now leading on his own in San Giacomo and will take a very, very nice win after being a red jersey on the Vuelta. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Pennington wise we're going to use the gel on Matteo Fabro. We'll soon do the same with, uh, with Emmanuel Buchmann. And as soon as Fabro is gone, we'll attack with Emmanuel. It's a win today for Nicolas Roche ahead of Geoffrey Bouchard. Groschartner will end up most likely in fourth position. Visconti will take third. It was a very, very... Very good win for the Irish rider. Can Visconti jump me actually? Ooh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure Visconti has the legs to jump me. Grosjana to take third place. All right, back to the peloton we go then, because we've got more pressing matters here. There goes Buchmann. I have to make a move. I have to make a move. I'm far in the GC. Buchmann has to make a move. 2.6k to go, and we're gone. Dan Martin might be creating the first gap here. Oh, Vlasov. Oh, Vlasov. Oh, Alexander Vlasov. Might not be able to follow. Joel Meira is still there. Brambia is still there. Wow, that is not something I expected. Here's um, Egan Bernal being the one trying to chase me down. Can Egan come back on Buchmann? Actually, he's going to do so. And I'm out of basically everything. So I can't exactly uh, lead the chase. Can I? Bernal is going to overtake me and drop me. Yates, Vlasov. Um, it's a huge day for Egan Bernal today. I haven't done too badly, if I'm being honest. It's a second place out of the favorites. Bernal was just too strong. We finished ahead of Yates, ahead of Vlasov, ahead of Jean Meda. Uh, Bennett, Barde, Evenepoel, Molle McCarthy, Formolo. Is there any big loser? Mikel Landa, Vincenzo Nibali. All right. Overall, decent day for Buchmann. Big gutted about, about Grosjean, I feel like I should and could have done better. I mean, he was very strong. Um, I think I could have got second. I don't think I could have got first. Nicolas Roche, though. Um, I mean, he was yellow jersey on the Tour, red jersey on the Vuelta. He's won on the Vuelta, he's won on the Tour de France. I believe he's never won on the Giro. So that would make him the 102nd rider to have won on all three Grand Tours. Egan Bernal is the new Maria Rosa ahead of Joel Meda, Barde, Yates, Monoma, Vlasov, Batistella in seventh, what the fuck, Buchmann, Formolo, and Hugh Carthy to wrap up the top ten. Batistella, mate, you should not be here. 
realistically, you just shouldn't be here. I mean, it's, it's, nah, nah. Niklas Roche, uh, who started with zero points there, ends with the um, Chiclamino jersey of Mountain. Sorry, the Azzurra. I'll get it one day. Don't worry. And I know that it's like, Azzurra means sky and Chiclamino means cyclamen, which is a shade of purple. I know it. I just can't get my head around it. But Roche takes the lead uh, ahead of Honewegen, ahead of Groschardner. Honewegen takes the Cyclamino jersey ahead of Caleb Ewan. Jakob Nizolo, Pete Sagan is already 40 points behind. Uh, yeah, really messed up on, uh, on that final stage. But it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do my, uh, my tactics of high breakaway intermediate sprints and that. Bernal, uh, obviously being in Maria Rosa, ends up in the... Um, how do you say black? Um, white Bianca? Maglia Bianca, I guess. But Joao Almeida will wear it. And the best team is Astana Premier Tech. Thank you, Batistella. Second is what I wanted to achieve after I saw Nicolas Frost's um, fitness. However, I'll come back on this race trying to win a stage with Gorshana. It's a name. Like, Gorshana will not leave this Giro without a win. Um, wait, I don't think today I had the legs nor the tactics, if I'm being honest. Uh, Peloton wise, we lose 36 seconds on Bernal and we gain 9 on Yates and Vlasov, 15 on Joao Almeida. I mean, it's not big, right? L let's be honest. It's not the biggest of gaps, but it's still a thing, right? It's still better than losing time. I mean, Bernal is unreal and Bernal was probably someone I didn't expect to be fighting with. Um, or at least, I mean, I did, but. I expected to have a smaller gap due to me not being an absolute dickhead when it came to the heel stage. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're the second best favorite today. Already campaigned. Tomorrow's stage is going to be a very flat stage between Notaresco and Termoli. Uh, should be, I mean, a mass sprint if things go our way. Hopefully we'll do better this time with Peter Sagan. Sorry, with Peter Sagan, my bad. Um, but yeah, I will see you tomorrow for stage number seven. Today drops the final episode of The Pink Attacker with Pierre Roland and I mean, I'll, I'll probably have it after the Giro stage. So I uh, expect it around 6 p.m. CET if you've, I mean, if you've watched this stage before and if you did, my geez. But yeah, it's a massive episode. Um, I've tried everything I could to do something with Pierre Roland. I'm not going to tell you more, but it's a massive episode. I hope I'll see you there. If not, uh, well, I'll hope to see you tomorrow for stage number seven of the Giro. To make sure to do so, then please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. My name is Guillaume. I'll see you tomorrow. Have an incredible day and see ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl, and don't you ever let it go. We're getting drunk in here and what comes next